The word for today is nostalgia. I am seeking a message that is in my highest and best interest from my higher self, my energy group, or any other being who has a message that is in my highest and best interest. Blessings to all who may hear this message. Hello, Alan. Nostalgia. Not often considered a spiritual word because it is grounded in time. It is grounded in what is often considered to be an illusion of time. Nostalgia is a longing for a memory. It is a memory that brings back a feeling of love, of connection to a place and time that you believe no longer exists that occurred sometime in the past. Nostalgia. Like everything related to time, nostalgia is an energy form. It is an idea. Every idea is a form. It is an object. It has a soul. Every idea exists as an entity. And nostalgia is also an idea. This is because the past is an energy. The past is an idea. The future is an energy. The future is an idea. The only real moment in time is the present moment. The only real time is the present moment. But the present moment is so short. In fact, it is infinitely short. So, in one sense, the present moment does not exist either. The present moment is infinity. It is God. It is Source. So when you are in the present moment, you are in God consciousness. You become Source. So, really, it's not that easy. It is easy because you are always in the present moment, but it's, it is not that easy to conceptualize and to experience from your third dimensional existence. But you know it is there because you experience it all the time. And conceptually, you can feel that it is something that is true. And that is why books on being here now are so popular. Because people know there is truth in that. But then everything else beyond that source moment point is either in the past or the future. And Basically, you have two different types of energy, two different types of vibration that define the past and the future. There's one type of broad category of vibrations that define the past. There's another broad category of vibrations that define the future. And so as soon as you feel that broad category, that type of vibration, you know you're dealing with the past. And as soon as you feel it for the future, you know this is something in the future. This is something you're thinking about happening at some time in the future. So everything that you have that has that past vibration is in one, on one side and everything with that future vibration is on another side. It is part of that duality, that positive and negative duality that comes out of the second dimension. So now we're going to deal specifically with the past and specifically with variations in the past. And so there are many different vibrations associated with the past. We said there's a broad category and they're all kind of related. 
and you can feel the past. But within that, there are subtle differences between different types of memories of the past. There are memories that you hold that you're very convinced happened, and then there are memories that you hold that you're not so convinced happened or not. You just don't remember them as well. So they have those kind of variations. And then there's memories that you really cherish, and there's memories that you really dread having <laughs> those memories come up from things that you might have done that you maybe wish now you had not done. So you have those kinds of past vibrations as well. And nostalgia is one of those kinds of vibrations. It is a vibration of things that you have a fond memory of in one way or another. It might have been a happy place, or it could be a number of different experiences that you associate with that particular uh, past experience. We'll assume that, the, that all these past experiences are actually true. <laughs> so that is what nostalgia is. It is a certain type of vibration that you have used to create a scenario, a world in this milieu, in this larger context of things called the past. Now, one of the things about nostalgia is it can be triggered by things in the present moment. And remember, you're creating the past, you're also creating the present moment. So you are creating something in the present moment that you are giving this type of energy, this type of vibration to. You're giving it a nostalgia meaning. So you see, for example, you see a, a tree, a certain tree, and it reminds you of a tree in your childhood that maybe you used to climb and play around and maybe you built a fort in that tree. And so you see this tree and then you create this whole story around that tree. You feel then this nostalgia for your childhood, for that experience that you had in your childhood. So now consider that time doesn't really exist, at least linear time does not exist as you know it in the third dimension. In the third dimension, it does exist. Everything occurs one after the other in linear time. But you know, after the third dimension, linear time breaks down. And linear time is seen in very different ways in the fourth and fifth and, and other dimensions. As you progress higher in, in dimensions, linear time becomes less and less real. In fact, everything is occurring at one moment in that present moment point of source consciousness. So the nostalgia that you're creating, you're creating a past and connecting it with a present. You're creating an entire experience based on something that you see in the present. Now, everything that you see in the present is something that comes into your life as a part of you. You are not just the being who you are sitting here in this particular location. You are everything that extends beyond that. You are the room you are in. You are the building you're in. You are the neighborhood, the city. You are the planet that you are on. You are all these things, and everything that you encounter is part of you. So when we talk about you here, we're talking about the larger you, your soul level you, your oversoul level you. We're talking about that expanded you, not the smaller, more narrowly focused outer ego you. So all of this is you, and all of this is being created by you and by everything else around you. It's a cooperative venture. So when you encounter this tree, you and the tree are creating this experience. It's not just you, it is also the tree. 
that's creating this experience. You and the tree are connecting, and it doesn't have to be a tree. Anything that triggers that nostalgia, it could be a toy, it could be a building that you see, a street scene, it could be a food, but you and that object are together creating this nostalgia experience. You are experiencing it, the tree is also experiencing it. You're also going back in time, you could say. But it is not back in time, because time is somewhat of an illusion in the greater reality of things. In fact, that nostalgia that you're creating is being created and lived in the present moment point. You are in this present moment point in your particular age and gender and all the life experiences that you, you attach to your story. But you are also the child in that nostalgia. You are also having a parallel experience, you could say, a parallel incarnation as that younger child that you were that is part of your story. But that younger child, that whole context of that child and that tree still exists in the present moment point of source. It is there, and you are experiencing it. You are experiencing a parallel life. And so is the tree that you are with. You're experiencing the present life. You're experiencing that past life. You're experiencing two lives at once when you feel nostalgia. In fact, you are experiencing that every time you encounter a memory of that type. You're experiencing multiple dimensions, multiple realities, multiple selves, multiple parallel incarnations of yourself. And you're putting all of this into the box called the past. Now, this particular box is the past of what you call your present life. So all of these things, your different ages, the different things you went through in, in that in your present life are part of this box called the present life. You can experience other lives, other boxes that you call past lives, previous to the present life. You call them that. That means it has a certain vibration. You can experience other boxes that are parallel lives, parallel to your present life. That's another box, another type of vibration. It's not one that most humans look at quite as much. They tend to look at those past boxes more. And you can also look at a box that is your future life, possible future life. Because in reality, there are innumerable past lives, present lives, and future lives for you to choose from. But we won't quite go into that in this particular talk. So you have that nostalgia box and you're experiencing that part of your past life. Think about the possibility of looking at other aspects of your life in that way. Other aspects of what you currently consider your present life. Other boxes, we could say, of different events, different things that you associate with who you are now and who you have evolved through time. So this is one of the things that you can do in the third dimension that is much more difficult in other dimensions is you can more easily break things into a linear time sequence, whereas in other dimensions that the linearity is much more difficult to, to manage. You can more easily do that. And by doing that, you actually integrate all of those other lives within yourself as you come to understand those other lives. You can do this through photographs, old pictures that you have, they can do that. You can do it talking to other people, talking to um, your brothers and sister to see what they remember, how they have constructed their past life. Maybe that will bring about new, open up new ways that you can actually interpret and understand your own life. This is a way of integrating this life into who you are now. 
all of those memories are integrated into you, but you don't remember most of them. <laughs> and you haven't really thought about most of them because you're trying spending most of your time in the present. But this is how you can use past lives and use this current life experienced as a way to understand who you are and how the universe works. That's one thing. A second thing is you can start shifting those boxes into what you call previous and parallel lives. We would suggest you stay away from future lives for the time being because the future tends to be a lot more possibilities whereas the past tends to be a little bit more fixed because how you identify with who you are now is a reflection of how you identify uh, the different types of past lives that you have had, whereas the future is more open. So try looking at that as well, looking at different past lives and possibly uh, different parallel lives, although that's, that can be also a, a bit challenging. So nostalgia. This is where nostalgia has brought us. Nostalgia is one of those ways of understanding, of building, of creating, of feeling the energy, the vibration of something that you call the past. We thank you for this encounter. We hope we've brought some insight into your understanding of reality as we move forward as your planet ascends, as you ascend into a new Earth. We love you. We love these interactions with you. Namaste.